Hi guys, this is Ya Maliki from Information Technology. Today we are going to see how you can make your own website for free. So after watching this video, you will have your own website like this. And this website can be accessed by anyone on the internet in the entire world. And in this video, we are also going to see how you can design your own website by using the drag and drop methods or selecting a template that is already made. So make sure you watch this video till the end to learn how you can do it. So let's get started. To create our website, we need to follow these steps. The first part is to launch your website. Once you launch your website, it will be live on the internet. So to launch a website, we are going to do three steps. The first step is to create an account and pro free host. This is the website which is going to help us create our own website for free. So to create an account, we need to go to the profreehost.com and click register now. Now fill up these details and then click here. So now we need to go to our email and activate our account. Here is the email I got from profreehost.com. Let's open the email and click on activate account. And here is the message. Your account has been activated successfully. Once we create the account, we can go to step two, which is to get your free domain. A domain is the name of your website. This is the name which you type in the URL to go to your website. For example, if you type google.com, it takes you to google.com. The same way you can get your own domain name. So to create your own domain name, let's click on create new and enter the name you want for your website. I'm going to type knowledge tutorial and as you can see we have got our domain here. This is the address which your visitors need to enter in order to reach your website. Now if you want to change this part of the website just click here and select the name which you want. Now to get this domain click this button. Now as you can see we have got our free domain. Once we got our free domain we can go to step 3 which is to install WordPress on your domain. WordPress is the platform which we are going to use to create our website and it lets you build your website easily without any coding. Once you install WordPress, your website will be live on the internet. To install WordPress, click on manage and then click control panel. Now to install WordPress, just scroll down and then under software, click on app installer which will take you to this page. To install WordPress, go here and then click install. And it will take you to this page. Now scroll down. And here you need to enter a username and password for WordPress. Now this will be used to log in to your website. So make sure you save them somewhere. Once you enter these details, scroll down and click on install. And as you can see, WordPress is successfully installed. And here you can see we have got the link to our website. Now this means our website is now live on the internet. Congratulations, you have made your first website. So to check it, let's click on this link. And as you can see, we have a brand new website on the name which we selected. So now we have successfully launched our website. Once you launch your website, we can go to the second part of this tutorial, which is to start building your website. So this is how the default website looks like. So to build your website, we are going to do three steps. The first step is to log in to your website. So to log in to your website, all you have to do is type slash WP admin after your site's address. And now if you press enter, it will take you to the login page of your website. Now enter the login details which you created for your WordPress website and click login. Now we have successfully logged in to our WordPress website. And this is the WordPress dashboard. This is the place from where you can control your website. So once you logged in, we can go to step two 
which is to choose a design for your website. Instead of building your website from scratch, we are going to choose a design and then edit it to make your own website. So to choose your website design, we need to install a theme called Astra in WordPress. To install the theme, let's go to Appearance and click Themes. Now click Add New Theme and search for a theme called Astra. Now this is the theme which is going to let us choose our website design. So to install the theme, just click Install and then click Activate. Now under Appearance, click on Starter Templates. Now under this drop down menu, select Free. In here, you will find different kind of website design that you can apply to your website. So just have a look at these designs and choose the one you like. I'm gonna choose this one. In here, you can see a preview of how your site will look like. Now, if you like the design, and want to apply the design to your website, just click on Import Complete Site and then click Import. And the entire design will now be imported to your website. So let's see how our site looks like. We can see that we have now got the entire design into our site. And you can also see your website's pages, which has the sample content in it. Now, we have successfully got the design into our site. Once you got the design, now how do you change the content of these pages? Which takes us to the third step. So, let's go to step 3, which is to edit the content of your website. So, to edit any page of your website, you just have to go to that page and click Edit with Elementor. So let's say you want to edit the home page. You just simply click home and then click edit with Elementor and it will take you to this editing section. Now let's say you want to change this text. All you have to do is just select the text and type your own text. So the same way you can edit any text on this page you want. Just select the text and then start typing. So this works throughout the site. Now let's say you want to change this image. To change the image, all you have to do is click on the image and now click here. You can either drag and drop the image or you can click on this button. Select file, find the image on your computer and open it. Now click on import media. And as you can see, the image has been changed. Now, if you want to change the text underneath the image, just select the text and type your own text. Now, once you are done with all the changes, just click on the update button. Now, if you go to your website, you can see all the changes are here. So this is how you can edit any page of your website. So now you know how we can edit any page on your website. Now we are going to see how you can change the header area of your website. By using the Elementor, you can change this part of your website. But if you want to change this area, you can do it by going to the Customize option. So let's go to Customize. And here you can see that there are some blue icons. Now if you want to change this logo, just click the blue icon next to it and you can change the logo here. Now the same way you can change the menu section by clicking this icon. Once you are done with the changes, click on publish. So we saw how you can change the header area of your website. Now what if you want to add a new page to your website? Next we are going to see how you can add a new page to your website. To add a new page. Just go to New and click Page. Let's say you want to create a new page for your website called Downloads. You need to first enter a title. And now to start creating a page, click Edit with Elementor. And it will take you to this blank section. Here you have two options to create your page. First, 
you can either choose these elements and then drag and drop them into this area for example if you want to add a heading you can drag and drop this element here and then enter your own text to add an image you can drag and drop this element here and start creating your page now the other way to create a page is by using templates templates are already made pages which you can import into your site to create a page with templates click here and you will find a lot of designs here now if you want to use any design simply click on it and see how it looks like if you like it click on insert and as you can see we have now got the entire design into our page again like we did before you can change anything on this page just by selecting it and typing anything you want so this is how it works once you are done with the changes click publish and you can view the page by clicking here as you can see we have a new download page here so this is how you can add a new page to your website so now we have successfully created our website for free and now anyone can access your website by going to this address now once you have made your website here you can see that this is the domain name which we got for free and it has this extra text after the site name which we selected and you can remove this extra text from your domain name this is something that we will cover in another video so that's all we have for you in this video i hope you have enjoyed this video if you have learned something from this video please give it a thumbs up and also share with your friends who might need to create a website for themselves for free so till next video it's goodbye